my name is Sarah and welcome to The Bookish Knitter. Today I'm coming to you with an exciting announcement video. Um, I am here to share with you a read-along that I am hosting, co-hosting, in the month of December. So this is going to run December 1st through December 25th, and this is a Sarah Morgan holiday read-along. So basically, um, I kind of came up with this idea while I was in the hospital, and I um, I knew that the perfect person to host this with me would be the lovely Fiona over at Reads and Eats. I will leave a link, of course, to her channel in the description box below because she is also a big fan of Sarah Morgan. She is actually on Sarah Morgan's um, uh, publicity team in the UK, of which I am insanely jealous. Um, and her and I are both big fans of hers. And I know that when people think of Christmas romance, they automatically usually go to the queen, Debbie Maycomer. Um, and there are a lot of others, but I just kind of wanted to showcase Sarah Morgan because every year for the past lot of years, at least that I can think of, she has written a Christmas novel and she has written a ridiculous amount of Christmas novels. She um, got her start writing for Category Romance for Harlequin, Mills and Boone, uh, the medical line. And she wrote a number of holiday books for them. And um, also standalone books um, uh, or books and series that she has written, like a uh, non-category series that she has written. And I am just such a big, big fan of her work. And the great thing about this read-along is that there's a little something for everybody. So Sarah Morgan's earlier work is definitely more on the contemporary romance side. Um, little hot, little spicy, always delightful. And her more recent what novels tend to be more edging on the women's fiction um, romance type scenario. So you're not getting the scenes that are as spicy. So if you're someone who is not necessarily a reader who likes spice in their romance, you can definitely try one of her more recent novels. And if you want a little spice, definitely try one of her older novels. So yeah, I just really thought that this would be a lot of fun. So basically it is a pick your own book. So read whatever you want, uh, whatever Sarah Morgan novel you want, a holiday one. I actually have a complete list in the description box below of all of her holiday themed novels. So that's the list that you could pick from. If you find one that I do not have on that list, please let me know and I will update it. Um, I went through Fantastic Fiction and I think I got everything, but if I missed anything, please do let me know. Um, and the other component to this is just for fun, because both Fiona and I are kind of crafty in a way. Um, and I mean that in the, you know, craft way, like, <laughs> um, I know Fiona crochets, I'm the knitter, I'm the bookish knitter. Um, and Fiona also, both, both her and I both cross stitch and she's a baker. Um, she's a cook. She likes to, uh, to, to make foodstuffs. Um, I do not, but that is also very creative. So like I said, the other component to this is that I am encouraging you to do some sort of craft over the holiday. And it's got a, it needs to be holiday themed. That's kind of my requisite. So on my Discord, I will open up a thread for this closer to the beginning of the month for December. And I encourage you to post about the book that you're reading and also share with us what kind of craft you're doing. Now, if you're not a crafty person, if you're not a crocheter or a knitter or a cross stitcher or something like that, I would absolutely include with that baking, um, holiday decorating, uh, puzzles, um, uh, diamond painting, you know, anything that is just a little bit creative. Um, I would absolutely include with that. So if you want to share that and then what, and then on December the 26th, Boxing Day, um, uh, for those of you who may not celebrate that holiday, uh, we do in Canada and the UK, um, it is the day after Christmas, um, we are going to do a live show. And I will, Fiona and I will both be talking about the books that we're reading. We're both reading different books to my understanding. And I encourage you guys who joined in on the read along um, to come and chat in the comments about the books that you read, what you guys thought about them. So it's kind of a great way to get some recommendations as well for future books that you might want to read. So just a couple of suggestions from me if you're not sure where to get started. The first Sarah Morgan book I ever read was Sleigh Bells in the Snow. And it is the first book in the O'Neill Brothers series. I think it's only a trilogy. And it was delightful. So Sarah Morgan is from the UK. And I didn't realize that. But when I read Sleigh Bells in the Snow, the main character is also from the UK. She travels to Vermont, I think it is, to help this um, fledgling uh, ski business, I think. if I'm, it's, it's been a lot of years since I read Sleigh Bells in the Snow. But I do remember really, really enjoying it. So that's a recommendation. The other recommendation is it is third in the series. But I assure you, I absolutely assure you, 
you can read this book out of order. And that is Miracle on Fifth Avenue. It is the third book in the Sleepless from Manhattan with Ser Sleepless in Manhattan series. This book was actually made into a Netflix, not Netflix, Hallmark movie. So it, it, it can be read as a standalone. And it's about our main character, Eva, um, who um, is a decorator. And she gets sent to this thriller writer's apartment uh, by his, I think it's his grandmother. And she thinks that he's not home, that he's uh, still somewhere writing his book. And she shows up and she starts decorating his apartment for the holidays. Turns out he's actually there. And then the two of them get snowbound together in a snowstorm in New York City. It is amazingly delightful. I absolutely loved it. Um, I know a friend, my friend Brie um, rereads this one like every year. It's like one of her holiday go-to books. So I absolutely recommend that one. It is fantastic. And the third one, if you, so the, both those two first books are a little more on the spicy side. If you want something that's a little bit more on the women's fiction side, I highly encourage you to read um, The Christmas Sisters, which was, I think, her first book that she kind of transitioned a little bit more into the um, more women's fiction from the contemporary romance. And it is a wonderful, wonderful story about three sisters over the holidays. I absolutely loved it. Another one is A Wedding in December, which again is a family story and again takes place at the holidays. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. So what I will be reading is her newest book, and that is The Holiday Cottage. So I am super, super stoked about this one. This is the um, US cover or the North American cover. So her books, uh, her newer books, the, the um, more women's fiction um, family oriented stories, tend to have two different covers and sometimes even two different titles. So every year when they come out, Fiona and I always are like, which cover do we like better? And it's usually the UK cover that I like better. This year, I actually prefer the North American cover, to be completely honest. I think this is gorgeous. I think in the in the UK, those, this is called The Christmas Cottage. So be on the lookout for that if you are overseas. Um, but yeah, I will be reading this one. It says, USA Today bestselling author Sarah Morgan returns with a heartfelt story of friendship, finding yourself, and the surprising uh, ties that bring us together. I cannot wait to read this. So my craft, uh, crafts, I should say, for the month of December. One is going to be a cross-stitch piece. It might be a red bird because if you look at Sarah Morgan's UK covers, every single one has a red bird on it somewhere, like hidden, like a Where's Waldo almost. It's delightful. Um, but so I might be doing a cross-stitch of like a red cardinal or something like that. I think they're robins on the covers of her books, but to me here in North America, um, a red bird in the winter is a cardinal. And um, so I might do a cardinal, like a small piece, like something to hang on my Christmas tree. And I'm also going to be casting on, of course, my Christmas socks. So there's the yarn for that. And this is Be Merry and Bright by Arcane Fiberworks. So very excited about that. So anyway, I hope that you guys will join us. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the um, uh, comment section below and I will be sure to get back to you. And until my next video, everybody, take care and happy reading. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye, everybody. Thank mm -hmm. you.